so in this video I'm going to be talking about my collection of travel spray perfumes I just did a video on miniature perfumes but those were dabbers basically like they didn't come in spray form and they were made to look like miniature versions of what the full bottle looks like these are true travel sprays because they don't mimic the look of the original full bottle and they are in spray form I think that's important because a lot of times when you have travel perfumes, if you have like a roll-on or a dabber, it doesn't feel quite as convenient because you kind of have to rub it onto your skin or pat it onto your skin and that can be kind of annoying sometimes. Like particularly with roll-ons, you start to feel like you're contaminating the juice basically by rolling it over your skin even if your skin is clean most of us have clean skin but it just still feels like it contaminates the juice basically to rub it on your skin and then when you have a um, dabber for me there's the risk of spilling it when I'm dabbing from the bottom so let's start from the right and we will start with the these Ellen Tracy perfumes so this first perfume is Ellen Tracy bronze I mentioned it in a previous video, the full bottle. I mentioned that the full bottle I wanted to give away because I had kind of gotten sick of this smell from using it when I was volunteering out of state. Well, this travel bottle right here is actually what I took with me. I took it with me because it was in a travel bottle. It was easy to put in my purse and I didn't have to worry about basically, you know, breaking it from it being in a and luggage that would that might get kind of bounced around if I wasn't able to control that I guess but I was able to carry this in my purse and from wearing it so much during that volunteer trip I kind of have gotten sick of it I did give away the full bottle but um, I still keep this miniature bottle in case I stop being sick of it <laughs> I can at least be able to pull it out like I don't I don't want to get to the point where all of a sudden I'm like you know what I missed that Ellen Tracy bronze I wish I had it back so instead of feeling that way about wanting the full bottle back I still always have this miniature with me in case I go back to loving it next by it we have Ellen Tracy the signature perfume I also had a full bottle of this and I did give it away the original Ellen Tracy signature perfume is a Shipra. I love Shipras. Another perfume in this video will be a Shipra. This Shipra is more true to the oat moss that can be typical of a Shipra perfume, which means I'm not usually in the mood to wear Ellen Tracy. The oat moss in this is pretty strong on my skin, and I have to be in the mood to wear oat moss. So that's why I went ahead and gave the full bottle away because I'm just not that often in the mood to wear oak moss but it's a nice smell I think a lot of older women will love it I gave it to my mom and she did love it I think a lot of your older women who like those classic feminine womanly perfumes they will like this Ellen Tracy this right here is the my Burberry blush I just got finished talking about this in my dabber video because I have the dabber version of this or the miniature version but this is the travel spray version and as you can see, I've actually used a bit of it. I do love the way this smells on me and I do get complimented when I wear it. And I like having it because when I wear it, I just take this travel spray with me and reapply because it doesn't last on me that long. So I've only worn this one time, I think, or two times this summer. It's not summer officially, but it feels like summer. But I've only worn it two times and I've used, used this much because when I wear it, the smell fades pretty quickly and I do have to reapply it. If you want a quick description of what it smells like, just think of a sparkly, fruity floral that has kind of like a champagne fizziness to it. So that's my way of describing it. Chloe Nomad in the travel spray. Look, I regret getting this in travel spray because I wish I had the full bottle. I love this perfume so much. I thought when I was getting the travel spray that this would be kind of like a, I wear this every once in a while. I went through a phase where I was wearing this every day <laughs> and then I just was like, wait, I don't want to run out. So I, I've calmed down off wearing it every day. But I love the way this smells. When I was getting, the last time I got a full bottle, I was choosing between Chloe Nomad and J'adore by Christian Dior. I chose J'adore and I almost regret it, almost. 
because I love this way more than I love Jodore as far as wearing it. I love Jodore as a classic perfume to have in my collection, but in hindsight, I wish I had gotten the Jodore Absolute or Lapsolute because that one smells more true to the Jodore that I remember from my childhood. The Jodore I have now smells like a, I mean, it is a reformulated version. It's reformulated and it's weaker and it's just not the same. So knowing that, if I had to choose again between Jodora and Nomad, I wish I had gotten Chloe Nomad in a full bottle. But this one is a shipper perfume. It's not as intense with the oat moss. I can still smell it, but I smell the Mirabelle and the citrus in this more. It's just a nice combination with the way the citrus and the sweet and the oat moss just play on my skin. The sillage is nice. I get complimented when I wear this. It doesn't last that long. I do have to like reapply it after maybe four hours. So in that sense, maybe it's not so bad that I didn't get the full bottle. But long story short, I love this and I kind of wish I had the full bottle. <laughs> okay, so this is the Chloe Eau de Parfum. I have this because during the Christmas season, I was traveling a lot and I needed a travel perfume. And so I went to Sephora and got one of those um, deluxe sets where you get a set of samples and then you can use the coupon to reimburse it for the free fuller version or bigger version. This one was one where you reimburse it to get the travel spray version instead of reimbursing the coupon for a full bottle. It costs $25. The one where you get the full bottle, I think it costs $65. But anyway, I decided to use the coupon to get the Chloe perfume. And I solely chose the Chloe perfume because it was the only one where I could get a full travel spray instead of a roll-on. Roll-ons get on my nerves. Like, it doesn't matter how good the perfume smell. If it's in a roll-on, I'm just annoyed. But my battery is about to run low, so let me hurry up and just kind of get through this. So the next two perfumes that you have here on the end are from Scentbox. I have a Scentbox account. I don't have a subscription, but I have an active account where every once in a while I can order Scentbox samples if I want. So I decided to get the Rubber Floor Love Always by Rihanna because I wanted to compare it to the full bottle of the original Rubber Floor that I have. And I also got the Black Opium Floral Shock just because I wanted to see how that would play on my skin. The result is that the Black Opium Floral Shock, I love it. I feel like I'm going to get a full bottle one day. And as far as the Rubber Floor Love Always, I'm just going to do a separate video comparing Rubber Floor Love Always with the original that I have in the full bottle. Okay, so my battery is blinking. I'm sorry I rushed it towards the end, but that concludes this video. Bye. Thanks.